What up, peeps? It's your boy, Hacker Steve. Welcome back to the channel. And it's been a long time. That's because I had the flu. Or at least I thought it was the flu. I mean, it was horrible. You know, like, I had 104 temp at one point. Rapid heartbeat. You could just feel it in your neck. Eyeballs burning because you're just hot. General shitty feeling, which I still, I still have a general shitty feeling. Uh, however, I'm on medication now. Which is uh, which is good, um, cause you know at first I thought you know maybe I could just Dayquil and Nyquil it up and and every day I did kind of get a little bit better, but um, then it got to the point where like I wasn't making progress. So, uh, for what we could understand is I just had bronchitis or something. But either way, uh, hopefully I should be feeling uh, better here in the next uh, few days. Um, but I have a lot of stuff. You know, this is kind of like some stuff that came from Christmas, uh, wrestling related and video game related. And uh, we're going to kind of just go through the stuff today. So first of all, uh, I did get more stuff for Christmas than what I'm going to show here. Obviously, um, I kind of spoiled myself pretty good, but I bought like some colognes and I built this retro cart, which uh, wasn't really planning on showing, but um as you can see there, it's like a little cart. It's got a Retron 5 on it. You know what? I'll I'll add a picture of it in post. But yeah, it's got the Retron 5. It's got a VCR. We got the Nintendo 64 hooked up to that sucker. The Super Nintendo Classic. We got a PS2 for watching DVDs and playing games. And this TV, you know, I got it for $64.99. It was on sale at Best Buy. And it actually has AV hookups built into it. So that, that was one of the main things that I liked about it. All right, so first I'm going to show off the wrestling stuff. Uh, I know not everybody that watches likes wrestling, so bear with me. But I got the uh, WWE Superstars Hot Rod and Roddy Piper here. Pretty sweet. I love this collection. Um, I have a bunch of different ones. Uh, then my brother gifted me this. It's an elite of Brock Lesnar from the Royal Rumble series. Um, definitely going to open this up. These these have literally just been sitting because, I mean, I just haven't felt like doing anything. So the Ultimate Edition, Macho Man Randy Savage. And this is when he was in the NWO. So this is a really sweet set. Get a couple of different head sculpts there and a bunch of accessories. Pretty excited about that one. Another thing that my brother gave me was this. It's a Diamond Dallas Page bobblehead from like the 90s. And uh, probably going to take it out of the packaging. He said it would be cool if I did that, you know. Uh, but yeah, the box is a little faded, but that's pretty sweet, man. Some old school shit. All right, just a little more wrestling stuff left here. Uh, so we got two autographs. First off, we've got eight in English, eight by ten. And then this one, which is way cooler. We got Eric Bischoff. And an art print. Art prints are so cool, man. Especially, like, for NWO and stuff like that. Now, this one, very special. Probably going to frame it up and then put it, like, right here. Um, if I can aim. But that's going to be the Fiend Bray Wyatt here autograph. Already certified. And I think that'll go well next to the uh, TLC poster right here. All right, next up we can get into the games, which uh, these four right here are wrestling games. <laughs> we got WWE 2K16. This one's great because they have the storyline for Steve Austin in it. WWE 2K18. WWE 2K19, which is one of the best ones in my opinion. Uh, and then the worst one ever, 2K20. Uh, I got these as a set right here. It's the only reason I bought 20, but also because, you know, I'm trying to collect them all, all the wrestling games, as well as all the Madden games. So there's a couple Maddens here. I'll go ahead and we'll look at those next. So for the Sega Genesis, we've got Madden NFL 1995. I was able to get this at Gamers Alley, which is a local shop for a good price, plus 20% off because they were doing a deal for Christmas. Uh, then we got Madden 23. All the stuff. 
even though it doesn't really matter, but yeah. Now this game is for Xbox One and PC. Uh, it's an awesome game. It has an amazing storyline. Probably one of the best storylines I've ever played in any first-person shooter video game ever. And that is Titanfall 2. Fantastic campaign. You can pick this game up for like $5 or less. It's probably on Game Pass. Um, it's worth it to play the campaign. Just, just check it out, man, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Next up, I got some Super Famicom games. We've got Dragon Ball Z and the second one now i couldn't get this one to work i cleaned it with the q-tips and the rubbing alcohol the old classic trick i still couldn't get it to work so probably gonna take this one back to the store i don't know if they'll let me swap it out at this point because it's been so long but i only paid like six bucks for it so if it doesn't uh get exchanged it is what it is but uh i did play this one uh on the retron and uh it's a tough game man it makes it even tougher the fact that you don't understand like the language but there is some english in it and uh I, I think i can download a translation on the retron i just gotta get an sd card for that but i got two more games left to show now this one i've been wanting to get for a long time and it's of course the remake of the original pokemon game uh with a little bit of a pokemon go spin to it and that's let's go pikachu this game is always expensive um, probably because it's awesome, but I was able to get it for a decent price finally. So I had to add it to the collection. Um, haven't played it yet, but definitely intend to. And then the last game that I purchased was a complete inbox copy of NBA jam for the super Nintendo. It was marked for 49 99, but I got 20% off cause they were doing that sale. Um, which is not too bad, I don't think. It's in phenomenal shape. I'm going to actually take it out and show you guys. There we go. But yeah, NBA Jam. I mean, this is a classic basketball arcade game. Um, definitely would like to get a hold of the tournament edition, preferably on the Sega Genesis. But yeah, if we open this bad boy up, I mean... We've got everything here. And I know, James, if you're watching, yeah, we got the registration code right here. He doesn't count it as complete without that. He's a stickler, and I get it, you know, but, yeah, we've got everything here, man. There's even a poster, which I don't even think I've ever seen that, so I might take, the, take a look at that. But, yeah, we've got all kinds of documentation. It didn't really work out the way I thought it would. <laughs> advertisement for t2 arcade on the back and of course the cartridge man love this game and there you go we've got the poster here Pretty straightforward, you know, just the cover of the game. Some advertisements on the back for some cool games. We got George Foreman's TKO. We got Spider-Man. We got Bart's. And we got we got it all, man. But yeah, that's pretty cool, man. I didn't even know I had the poster with it. But yeah, guys, that's everything I got recently and for Christmas. Uh, let me know what you guys got for Christmas below, man. And uh, catch you guys soon.